So the shop apprentice and I had to make 20 of these for a client. Rather than cut each one of these curves by hand and then router them, we decided to make a jig on the bandsaw to cut that curve really quickly and easily, and then just take a thin cleanup pass on the router to finish it off. So here it is. Started off by selecting some pre-finished birch plywood that I have, one for the base on the saw and the other to make the handle. The square lines I drew are important for referencing off of later. So I laid out the handle, just kind of arbitrary dimensions, whatever I thought kind of felt comfortable, and put a center line on it. The center lines serve as the reference for the radius of your arc. Lining those two lines up with the leading edge of your blade ensures that the apex of your arc is at the cutting edge of the blade. And round over the handle for comfort. A bit of gratuitous bandsaw blade swapping footage, just for your viewing pleasure. And here you see me cutting up to the line. This line's important because this is where you reference the front of your cut from. At the front edge of the blade, you measure back the radius of the arc that you want to cut and drill a hole, as you'll see me do later. I wanted the handle to be reusable, and so I decided to use painter's tape and CA glue to hold the work holding portion of the thing to the handle. Here you see me laying out to hold my pieces using center lines and the square edge of my jig. A little more tape and CA glue, which I re reinforced later with some screws. Hold down clamp to keep my hands a long ways from the blade because you don't want to cut your fingers off. That's unhealthy for you. And I use some dividers to set the hole for the pivot pin in the handle and in the plate. Now here we go. There you see how you cut it off. And you get a nice perfect arc there, and away we go. Fairly simple way to cut repeatable curves. After this, I cut out 40 of these, and then used my router to just kind of clean up the edges. Yay for production so work. Here's the end result of the massacre.